Hello everyone and welcome to the 12th episode of the Skyrim Ultimate Modding or Some Guide. And this stands to be a very long episode, but we're getting close. I estimate only about probably like three more episodes after this ish. Uh, that's a guesstimation. So don't hold me to that, but we're getting there guys. We're getting there. But this one might be a bit of a long one because we're going to download a ton of armor and weapons mods and merge them. And then some stuff that's not that like this one that we're going to start with at the top of the video description, realistic melee range. Now download JS Dragon Claws Special Edition, and I'm gonna go for the 4K version. You guys can download 2K or 1K if you like. Now the Detailed Chests Texture Replacer Special Edition. There are a bunch of different versions of this, rich, dirty, washed out. Just look at the pictures and see what you like. Most people recommend washed out, I think. And I did that for a while, and because of that, I think I wanna try maybe the rich this time. Um, Let's see, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go with Rich this time, just for a change of pace. Uh, Cause I've done, I've always done the washed out before. Let's do the Rich this time, or you guys can do what you want. I'm gonna do the Rich this time. Moving on to book cover Skyrim Lost Library. Yes, this is not an armor. Yes, this is not a weapon, but this is going to add 295 books from the older Elder Scrolls games into Skyrim. This is something that I just like. This might not be for everyone, but so, I mean, you guys, you guys can, you can skip this if you want. Do the desaturated version and let's move on. Winter is coming. Skyrim special edition cloaks. We want the top file, the main file. If you don't want any guards to wear the cloaks, then select the third version down. But I'm going to select the main version. Moving on to CC's enhanced ore veins, a special Skyrim special edition edition. Anyways, download this main file in 4k if you like you can do 2k if you like i'm going to do 4k personally moving on to gold septums coins retex um there is a version of this for old rim that i feel is slightly better but i really don't want to have to run a mesh through nif optimizer just for septums just for this one little thing so and and this one's not i mean the difference is really super minor anyway so let's get this septum gold coins hd high definition version mod manager download and moving on a midian born book of silence these are all going to be manual downloads and you're going to download the armors the dragonborn dlc the unique items and the weapons and the content add-on now download the bone mold hotfix the skyforge hotfix and the Staff of Magnus hotfix. Now download the Amidian Born Blades Armor Skyrim Special Edition patch. You can actually do a mod manager download on this one. Now download Immersive Armors V8.1 Skyrim Special Edition mod manager download. No manual download necessary on that one. Now download the UNP Body Fit Armors and Clothing. I'm going to get the immersive version. I would recommend um, if you don't want any breast and butt physics to get the top file. Um, if you do, I would recommend the immersive version as you don't exactly want steel armors or iron armors bouncing. Um, the immersive version makes it so that, well, like it says in the description, rigid armors are static while loose clothing are TBP. Basically, TBP is breast and butt physics. So any lighter, looser cloth will bounce while more rigid materials will not. Moving on to light refracting glass armor and weapons, UMP, CBBE, and 7 base. And we are going to download the Amidian Born BOS Glass SSE patch version. You only need one version. Do not download both. Even though this says patch, it is the entire file. Moving on to Dawn of the Dawn Guard armor. This is a texture replacer, and I'm going with the 4K version. You may do 2K if you like. Now the Volkahar Knight Vampire armor. There's only one main file, download that. Now download Nightingale Prime HD. And this is an old rim, so we're gonna to have to do manual download. Now download Black Mage Armor Special Edition. Mod Manager download. Now Skyrim Unlimited Rings and Amulets. There is only one main file, download it. Mod Manager download, and moving on. Now download Apophysis Dragon Priest Masks Special Edition. Mod Manager download the top file. 
And moving on to Perfect Legionnaire Imperial Armor Reforged. Download 6.0 and the 6.0 patch. Now download the Dragonbone Ebon Steel Armor Special Edition. Mod Manager download. And moving on to Bosmer Elder Shadow Armor. Download the main file. And let's move on. Tribunal Robes and Masks for Skyrim Special Edition. Download the top file, main file. And moving on. Dragon Carved Armor Set. Download the main file. Moving on, Bosmer Armor Pack. Main file. Fur Armor Set Frostfall Aware. Download the main file. The update. And finally, the Ordinator Patch. Now download the Grandmaster Ursine Armor Special Edition. Mod Manager download. Now download Opulent Outfits Mage Robes of Winterhold 2017 and download the all-in-one file mod manager download and moving on. Now download the Talos Harskarl Armor Pack and there's only one main file mod manager download. Now download Armor of Intrigue for Special Edition. Download the main file mod manager download and the update file. Now download the Nordic Ranger Outfit and there's only one main file mod manager download. Now go to the UO Warmonger Armory Skyrim Special Edition and download the main file. Now go to the SPOA Silver Knight Armor SE and I'm going to download the 2.0 Ultra 4K version. You might do the 2K if you prefer it. Now go to the Early Middle Ages Helmets Pack Skyrim Special Edition. Download the top file and the second main file. Now go to Dream Burrow's Regal Huntsman Armor Skyrim Special Edition. There's only one main file mod manager download. Now go and download the Daedric Armor and Weapon Improvement mod. And we're going to do the Replacer Blood Glow version. Now download the Dark Brotherhood Armor Mail 2K mod manager download. And the Ennead Shields. I'm going to grab the 4K version. I might recommend the 2K for medium rigs. Now download Dragonbone Mastery Weapons Retexture. Grab the top file. And finally download Dwarven Power Armor. And there's only one main file. All right, now moving on to weapons. First go to Unique Uniques Special Edition and download the main file. Now go to Garrus's Axes and download the top main file. Legendary Skyrim Crossbows Special Edition. Mod Manager download plus the Ars Metallica patch, and the Mora Loot Ultimate patch. Now go to Better Aureole's Bow, More Damage, and select the Mod Manager download. Moving on to Real Bow's Special Edition Standalone. Let's download the 2K version. Now go to Kind's Breath Weapon Pack and download the top file. Regent Armory Special Edition, download the main file, Mod Manager. Artifacts, the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Download the 4K version, or at least I'm going to. I might recommend 2K for medium rigs. Moving on to Hunter's Carved Arsenal. Download the main file. Now download Billy Rowe Ultimate Swords Anthology. Download Billy Rowe's Weapons and the add on Billy Rowe's Old Swords. Now moving on to the Koru Swords Collection. Download the top file, the all in one collection. Now move on to Skyforge Weapons SSE and download the main file. Moving on to Better Bows Special Edition, download the top file. Now go and grab the Huntsman SE and download the main file. Now go to Skyrim Special Edition Expanded Skyrim Weaponry and download the second main file that says NPC. Moving on to the Sword of the Seeker, Mod Manager download the main file. Dragonbone Weapons Complete, move to Files, and download the top main file. Now go to Mithridan Sword SSE and download the top file. Moving on to Draconic Brigand Axe, download the main file. Now go to Galantiri German Inspired Longsword and download the top file. Moving on to Real Bows for Special Edition, download the top file. Moving on to Insanity Sorrow Weapons Pack, go to Files and download the top file. 
Now go to Lore Weapon Expansion SE and download the top file. Now move on to Weapons of the Third Era SSE and download the top file. Now go to Royal Armory New Artifacts and download the top file. Moving on to more weapons please, SE, download the top file. Moving on to the Loner's Sword, yes the Loner's Sword, Mod Manager download the main file. And let's move on to Heavy Armory New Weapons, there is only one main file, Mod Manager download that. Now grab Lean Wolf's Better Shaped Weapons, SE. Download the top main file, which is the installer version. Then the update file, the Better Shaped Weapons Arrow update. Then download the Dawnbreaker Greatsword Special Edition optional file, which is not included in the installer version that we've gotten. And finally, the Lean Wolf's Dragon Bling Gemling All Standalone SE. Now download Gemling Queen Jewelry Special Edition. And then download Immersive Jewelry Skyrim Special Edition. Download the main version 1.05 and then the update 1.06a. Now download the Imperial Sword 4K Retexture by Billy Rowe. Now go and grab the Improved Daedric Artifacts Special Edition main file. And then grab Zim's Immersive Artifacts v1.4. And now to begin the lengthy install process on all of these hundreds of millions of things we just installed. So starting with realistic melee range, double click. We're going to call this 233 and select OK. Now continue on down the list installing in the order in which you downloaded things. And I am not going to record any video until something changes or something comes up or there's a weird install or something that needs to be said. So starting at realistic melee range, Move down the list, numbering from 233 or wherever you guys left off after the Age of Aggression main menu theme replacer. Just going on down the line in the order in which they were downloaded and numbering them accordingly. Now on enhanced ore veins, there is an installer I would recommend on the first screen you do the gray option. On the second screen you do normal ores. I don't like glowing. If you guys prefer glowing, go for that, but I don't care for it. And then on the last one, do the new cube maps. Select next, install new textures, select next, leave the stone color on gray, select next, install new textures for the ingots, select next, and you're done. Now after you finish with the septum gold coins replacer, go to the archive installer and find a Midian born book of silence armors archive and select open. Okay, let's call this one 240, a Midian born Book of Silence Armors, and under the options, under the main screen, we want to do a custom install. Select next. Just select the options you want. I'm going to do the iron, the steel, the steel plate, the leather, the hide, cabal's cut, the fur, elven dark, dwarven, ancient nord, orcish, scaled, the wolf with gray fur, then I'm going to select the steel gray version of the glass, the black ebony, the blades armor, the author of this, the septum mod installation guide suggests you do not do this, but there is a patch now, so we're just going to patch it, and the falmer. All right, now hit install. Now go to the downloads tab of your mod organizer and find a medium born blades armor SSE. And when you hover over it, it should say SSE patch, no more ugly red triangles. This is the hot fix for the blades armor in the mod we just installed. So let's call this one 241 and that's a, fine. That's a good title. Hit okay. And now I actually want to open these two files in Explorer the Amidium Born Blades Armor Patch and the Amidium Born Book of Silence. And I want to actually go ahead and overwrite what's in there and just combine these into one fixed mod, which isn't that difficult to do. I don't necessarily know nothing against them. They do a lot of good work. I don't know why the mod authors don't necessarily just do that and then re-upload the mod. But uh, at any rate, let's get back in there. Now we can deactivate the Amidian Born Blades Armor SSE patch. And just to confirm, there should be nothing in here now, but a meta.ini file. So let's just detick that and remove it. 
Okay, now go into your archive installer section and find a Midian Born Book of Silence Weapons Archive and select OK. Or open. Now on the installer for a Midian Born Book of Silence Weapons, leave it selected on Install All Weapons default on the main screen and just select Install. Now tick the checkbox to activate a Midian Born Book of Silence Weapons, but then over here in your Plugins tab, Make sure to deselect the Amidian Born Skyforge Weapons.esp as it has been reported to cause some crash to desktop problems for a lot of users. Alternatively, if you want to just get rid of it so you don't have to remember that every time, we could move this into optional ESPs, which is precisely what I'm going to do and close. Now go into your archive installer and find Amidian Born Book of Silence Dragonborn DLC and select open. Under the install options, select custom install. And here you have a number of Nordic carved armor options, the black fur default, brown fur, white fur. I was considering trying the white fur, but I think I am gonna go with the black fur because it contrasts more with the brightness of the actual carved armor torso area itself. And then I'm gonna select bone mold armor, acolyte masks, dragon priest, hulking draugr, ash spawn and ash guardians and select install. Now go into your archive installer and find Emidian Born Book of Silence Unique Items and select open. On this main screen, just select install everything and select install. Now go to your archive installer and find Bone Mold Hotfix and select open. You don't need to rename this one at all as we will be merging it into the main mod. So just install it, right click, select open in Explorer. Right-click the Amidian Born Book of Silence Dragonborn DLC and select Open in Explorer. Now drag the textures folder from Bone Mold Hotfix into 242 Amidian Born Book of Silence Dragonborn DLC to merge the two textures folders. Now close both folders and you can remove the Bone Mold Hotfix. Now go into your archive installer and find Skyforge Hotfix and select Open. Okay, now right click the Skyforge hotfix and select open in Explorer and then right click the Book of Silence weapons and select open in Explorer. And drag the textures folder from the Skyforge hotfix folder into the Amidian Born Book of Silence weapons folder and replace the files in the destination. Now close both folders and remove the Skyforge hotfix. Now go into your archive installer and find Staff of Magnus Hotfix and select Open and select OK. Now right click the Staff of Magnus Hotfix and open in Explorer and right click the Book of Silence Weapons and open in Explorer and drag the Meshes folder from the Staff of Magnus Hotfix into the Amidian Born Book of Silence Weapons folder, merging the two Meshes folders and now close both of those folders and go back to Mod Organizer and you can remove the Staff of Magnus hotfix. Now double click to install Immersive Armors V8.1. After it's extracted, just make sure you tick the box next to Install UNP Support and select Install. All right, now let's keep moving on down the list with UNP Body Fit Armors and Clothing. Double click and we'll number this one 245, select OK. Now find Amidian Born BOS Glass SSE, double click. On this one select number two, Amidian Born Book of Silence Armor Replacer and click next. And then leave this second page at none where it's already selected. Now on this last page, I'm leaving AMB content add-on patch deselected. However, it seems to me that something in my last Lord order required me to install the AMB content add-on and I haven't gotten there yet, but when I do, if I have to go back and install the content add-on, then I'll need to go back and select this patch and reinstall this as well. This is where things get complicated and hard to keep track of, which is why I'm leaving a little note for myself that says reinstall if using AMB content add on. And you'll notice I've got a couple of others like that as well up here. Reinstall if change weather mod. And I like to leave little notes for myself like that in there because I'm pretty sure there is something we're going to be installing. I just can't for the life of me remember what that is going to require this AMB content, but let's leave it deselected for now. And Hit install. Now find HD Dawn Guard Armor 4K and double click. And this one will be 247 and select OK. Now just keep moving on down the list, numbering them as you go. And I will show up if something needs to be explained as I go through these. 
And I'm already back on the very next mod, the Volkehar Knight Vampire Armor. So on the patches, select Better Vampires patch, and then on the main options, Heavy Armor version versus Light Armor version, I guess that's kind of just up to you. Um, the default is heavy, and you can see there are some pretty heavy looking pauldrons and gauntlets here. The rest of it looks pretty light though. Uh, the greaves, I guess, do look pretty heavy. So, I mean, that's up to you, and you can put light or heavy. I'm gonna leave it on the default heavy and select install. Actually, I forgot to number it almost, 248, and select install. Now, after the Black Mage armor, I want you to skip the Skyrim Unlimited rings for now and go down to the Apophysis Dragon Priest's masks. 250, select OK. Now find Perfect Legionnaire, double click, 251. Now find the one that just says 6.0 patch, which is a Perfect Legionnaire patch. We want to install that right after the main Perfect Legionnaire mod and click the drop down to select Perfect Legionnaire and let's just call this 6.0 patch. Call that 252 Perfect Legionnaire 6.0 patch and select OK. And then tick the checkbox to activate and actually I think I might just merge those. I hate having a bunch of mods. So troops re-equipment ESP. Let's see what's going on in this one. So troops re-equipment ESP. So let's just open these up in Explorer. The Perfect Legionnaire 6.0 patch, 6.0 patch. And the Perfect Legionnaire main file and just drag the ESP and the meshes and the textures from the patch to the main Perfect Legionnaire Imperial Armor Reforged 6.0 mod and replace the files in the destination and then close both folders out. Then go back to Mod Organizer and then deselect the Perfect Legionnaire patch and remove it. Yay, done. Now find the Dragonbone Ebon Steel Armor and double click. 252 on that one, select OK. And now find one that's just called Main File, but when you hover over it, it says Bosmer Elder Shadow Armor. Double click that. And we're going to number this one 253. Whoops, that's not in the right place. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what am I even doing now? Two. 253, select OK. Now find a tribunal robes for SSE. Double click, 254, select OK. Take the checkbox to activate. Now find dragon carved armor set, 1.41 something, I can't read the rest of it. And install that next at 255 and select OK. Now find Bosmer armor pack special edition 1.0 and install it at 256. I keep saying I'm just gonna let you guys go down the list and install a number, install a number, and that I'll only come back with a recording if something needs to be pointed out or said about one of these mods. And, and then I keep talking through it. And that's just because I'm kind of skipping around because what I want to do is a merge of a bunch of these in a moment, and so I'm kind of trying to skip some of the stuff that's not armors for now and then we can go back to them since I'm going to kind of want to keep these all in one place so that I can easily merge them. So anyways, fur armor set special edition moving on find fur armor set and call it 257 and select okay. Now find update 1.1.2 fur armor set SE update and let's call this fur armor set uh, update and number it at 258 and select OK. Now on this one I hate having multiple mods where one will do so on this one I think we're gonna do another merge first set by Kaung and we're gonna actually open this in the Explorer and same same drill guys you know what to do open in Explorer the update and the original and then drag the ESP from the update into the original, overwriting the ESP there, and then close both folders. Go back to Mod Organizer, and you can remove the Fur Armor update. Now double click the Update 1.1.2 Ordinator patch, 
and let's select from the drop down for armor set ordinator uh, patch and we'll do 258 on this select OK now find the Grandmaster Ursine armor and double click and we're just going to keep going down the list here so far still doing armors 259 select OK now find the opulent outfits mage robes of Winterhold 2017 Skyrim special edition and we're gonna call this 260 and select OK now find Talos Harse Carl armor pack and double click it and let's renumber this one 261 and select OK now find armor of intrigue special edition double click and renumber this one 262 now find the other file called armor of intrigue in your mod organizer downloads tab arm armor of intrigue for special edition you'll see if you hover over this in the description this is just a small file to fix an incorrectly named bsa so we're just going to double click this we don't even need to number this one because i'm pretty sure oh wait we do need to rename this one because it thinks we're trying to install the same thing again so click the drop down select the update file version select ok then we're going to see what is in this because I think we're just going to drag this into the main mod as we have been doing. And yes, so we're just going to open this in Explorer and then open the main Armor of Intrigue mod in Explorer and drag the meshes folder into the Armor of Intrigue for Special Edition uh, mod. Let's open Bay that you guys uh, downloaded and installed earlier. You might remember that this little butte. You might remember this little butte from uh, the sleepy fixes that we did. Um, let's go ahead and open this in Explorer. And I kind of just want to extract this BSA and see what in God's name is in there. So um, I think for now, I'm just going to extract it to the desktop, I think, because I just don't really have another good place for it for now. All right, so we've got a meshes folder here on the desktop now. Armor, armor of intrigue. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of stuff. Okay, so I think the best way to do this would be to, um, okay, so this is the main mod. Let's, um, hmm, what is the best way for this? Okay, so let's, merge the meshes folders and there was no nothing was replaced there oh well, that's interesting so i guess we're good then it added a file that was missing entirely rather than replacing one apparently because nothing was replaced there okay so basically what we did is there was a fix for the Armor of Intrigue Special Edition that was basically just one mesh that I guess was missing in the last folder, but only missing in the BSA. We extracted the BSA so that it's now meshes. Let's also extract the, <laughs> this is interesting. Let's also extract the textures into the main mod, the mods 262 Armor of Intrigue. Let's select this folder. We're gonna extract the textures as well. So now we have armors and textures, uh, or I mean, we have the meshes and textures and we don't even need the BSA anymore. So let's just get rid of both the BSAs because we've extracted them all and it, oh, it can't be completed because it's still open in bay. So got to close bay, try that again. Everything is deleted. Now we can go back to mod organizer. That was a weird one. And let's just remove the update. Okay. I really don't know why some mod authors don't just do this stuff because whatever. Anyways, Nordic Ranger outfit moving on Nordic Ranger select. Okay. Warmonger SSE double click and let's get rid of this UO that this thing starts with for some odd reason. I have no idea why rename it 264 and select. Okay. Now find SPOA Silver Knight Armor 2.0 and double click. Now number this one 265 and select OK. 
Now find early Middle Ages helmets pack. SSE, simple hal halberk. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And call this one 266 and select OK. Now find the simple halber halberk, halberk 12961 file. And select the drop down and click simple halberk and 260, whoops, 67. And select OK. Now find Dreamboro Regal Huntsman and double click. 268, select OK. Now find Dwarven Power Armor and double click. And number this 269 and select OK. Now find Blood Glow 15121. And this, I think, is just a texture replacer. Um, I don't think this one has an ESP or anything, but at any rate, we're going to call this 270 and select OK. Now find Dark Brotherhood Armor Mail and double click. 271, OK. All right, now we've got all the armors in and we're going to be moving on soon to the weapons. Should I add shields to the armor merge or to the weapons merge? Hmm, question for the ages. I think I'll leave shields alone for now. We've got a lot of armors to merge. All right, so what I've done here is moved the opulent outfits in the sky sand amb ca patch the volcahar knight uh better vampires patch was going to be reliant upon our new our new merge and i was going to merge volcahar knight but volcahar knight appears to have some scripts the first set ordinal patch i'm going to leave deselected until i merge the first set into the other armors and then sort or re um change the masters for this patch in sse edit to be the new merged patch the black mage armor appears to have some sort of script and I don't I try to avoid merging scripts A lot of these are hard to tell because the scripts are packed into a BSA So it seems fine and then you merge it and then you see all these scripts when it extracts the BSA So I don't know for sure what to do on that But I know the safest bet is just to try to, to not merge anything that has scripts Packed within the BSA as long as we're having to extract the BSAs to get these to work uh, the Hoth Trooper armor uh, extra and armor compilation both seem to have scripts as well. It seems as though, however, we can safely merge all of these. So what I've done is just move those above these and deselected them so that when I load these into SSE edit, they'll all just be there right at the bottom and I'll know what I can merge. So, oh, um, and the Dwarven power armor has an error. We can't merge that. And then there was one other one that had an error. Um, I think it was the Bosmer Elmer Shadow uh, Elder rather Shadow Armor, but we'll find out in just a second. So let's load all these up into SSE Edit. Right click and select none. Go to the very bottom and select everything right up to but not including Hoth Trooper Armor Compilation. So you should have 20 ESPs selected, including Apophysis, Perfect Legionnaire, Dragonbone Ebonsteel, Bosmer Elmer Sh Elder Shadow Armor, Tribunal Robes, Dragon Carved Armor, Bosmer Armor Maddie 743, First Set, Ursine Armor, Talos Hars Car House Carl, Armor of Intrigue, Nordic Ar Ranger Armor, I can't talk anymore tonight, guys. Warmonger Armory Vanilla, Warmonger Armory DLC, Warmar Warmonger Armory Leveled List. It's important that you load these in that order. Otherwise, um, it'll SSE Edit will tell you, warning, Leveled List comes before Vanilla, and Vanilla needs to come first or something like that. I mean, it's obviously not in that wording, but SPO, Silver Knight, E-Mages Helmets Pack, Simple Halberk, Dream Burrows Regal Huntsman Armor, and Mikhail Dwarven Power Armor, and select OK. Now, once the background loader has finished, left click and drag a box over all of these, all the way up to just beneath the dragonborn.esm, right click and select check for errors. And you will see that I was correct that it is Bosmer, Elder Shadow Armor, and Mihail Dwarven Power Armor. Why am I not surprised? A bunch of the Mihail stuff has errors, it seems. So we need to control click to deselect Mihail Dwarven Power Armor, and control click to deselect, where is it? Bosmer, Elmer, Sha Elder Shadow Armor. I'd do not know why I can't seem to say that tonight. So once those are deselected, 
right click everything that remains select check for errors one more time just to make sure no errors now let's right click apply script merge plugins v1.9 select ok make sure everything is selected it should be click the little gear icon and just make sure since apparently there's a problem with the merge plugins v1.9 with mod organizer 2.0 working in skyrim special edition with missing meshes and textures or things not appearing properly in game we just want to make sure this extract bsa's checkbox is ticked off now for sure so that we don't have to go through all the things that we went through in the sleepy fixes episode so make sure extract bsa's is ticked and select save and now let's select ok create new file let's call this armors merged and select ok this is going to take a bit so just give it some time okay folks once that is done you should have seen a command prompt window pop up to do a bunch of uh, asset copying and then this should pop up merge completed your merge file has been successfully created it has 2606 records and then let's just close this and our new armors merged.esp in the left hand pane over here right click and select check for errors and no errors let's close this deselect everything right click in the window and select select none and only check off our new armors merged.esp and select ok now if you double click the overwrite bar you will see in our armors merged esp we have some textures and meshes we have no scripts that is good i mean look i've i haven't tried anything with scripts merged i've just heard from a lot of people that it's not a very safe thing to try to merge mods that have scripts or that are script heavy people say i don't know exactly maybe maybe that means you can merge stuff it has like if it has like one simple script i don't know um, I've heard that for that reason, you don't want to merge a lot of, for example, follower mods if they're like highly scripted, you know, voice acted, in-depth things and not just like, hey, here's a person who says the generic Bethesda stuff and has like a new skin on her. Um, so like, I don't think you can really merge mods like Inigo and Recorder and um, Sophia, the funny voiced follower, things like that, for example. I think they're pretty heavily scripted and I hear that it's not necessarily a good idea to merge those things. Now we probably could have merged these um, armors that have scripts. It's probably not that big of a deal. They're probably really simple scripts that just start up a quest and it's probably fine i just don't want to push it especially with a bunch of you guys following my tutorials i just want to be safe so okay let's close that right click the overwrite bar select create mod call this armors merged and select okay tick the checkbox to activate and actually we could probably we could probably call this like 272 or whatever and now we want to hover over this and it will tell us everything that's in there there's a lot apophysis perfectly generic troops uh, imperial templar uh, dragon bone ebon steel tribunal robes dragon carved armor set bosmer armor matty first set by kyung or sign armor talos harsh kyle carl uh, Nordic Ranger, Warmonger, Armory Vanilla, DLC, and Level List, SPOA, Silver Knight, E-Mages, Helmets Pack, Simple Halberk, Dreamsboro, Regal Huntsman Armor. There's so much stuff in there. Okay, so now for something interesting, guys. We have to take this first set ordinal patch that's actually, as we know, an ordinator patch. And we have to select that. We have to make sure the original first set by Kyung is selected. And we have to make sure Armors Merged is selected and Ordinator is selected. And we're going to change the masters for this first set Ordinator patch to be Ordinator and Armors Merged rather than Ordinator and first set Kyung ESP since we're going to deactivate this one. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's run it. So right click, select none, scroll down, so let's try that again, scroll down, select armors merged, select first set by Kyung, select first set ordinal patch, which as we know is actually ordinator patch. And we need to select ordinator as well, even though it's not explicitly listed as a master for this file, I just feel like we need to load it. So or ordinator. 
And we need to find it now, and it should be highlighted. There it is, right there. So make sure all four of those files are selected, my friends, and select OK. Oh, OK, Fatal Exception First Set Ordinal Patch requires Master First Set by Kyung to be loaded before it. OK, so we need to change the load order here a little bit. So uh, see, I'm glad I'm walking you guys through this because I wouldn't want you guys to see that and be like, what? The? Which, you know, you guys aren't you guys are intelligent. You could figure that out. But I just, you know, I, I just want to make sure that you guys don't. I can walk you through each of these things when weird things like this happen because weird things unexpected things will happen So let's just drag um, Rather than dragging first set by Kyung up. Let's just drag the first set ordinal patch down under first set by Kyung and do that again Let's try that again So once again, we're gonna right-click select none. We're gonna select armors merged first set ordinal patch first set by Kyung now let's search for ordinator and find the highlight and select ordinator perks of skyrim and select ok all right once the background loader has finished on this you're going to want to go into your first set ordinal patch which should be ordinator patch click on uh, the little plus symbol to expand the drop down and select file header underneath the first set ordinal patch name and over here you'll see the master files upon which this patch depends and you'll see right here first set by kyung we want to just right click this and select edit and select yes i'm absolutely sure and type the full and exact name of our merged armors mod ESP. So if you named yours differently, take note, it has to be exact. So in my case, and hopefully yours, armors space merged, all caps, dot ESP, no spaces there. Make sure it's all correct. Double check and then triple check and then quadruple check. Make sure it's perfect. Select OK. Now, in this case, I don't know why this first set ordinator patch does not have ordinator as a master file. And I almost want to add a master file and edit and call this. Uh, actually, what I would probably do is edit this one, make this one ordinator space and uh, hyphen and you know like i said before exact naming so perks of skyrim with a uppercase perks and skyrim Sp uh, dot whoops esp and i'm going to double and triple and quadruple check to make sure that's all okay and then i'm going to select okay and then i would double or right click this one and select edit and call and name this one armors merged all caps dot esp double and triple and quadruple check the name just make sure it's exact guys and select okay that's how i would probably redo this one i don't know if that'll actually change anything it just seems odd that a patch that's supposed to be a patch for ordinator and this fur armor set does not have or ordinator as a master um at any rate so i am just gonna close this now and that should be the only thing that changed is first set ordinal patch and let's select OK. Now let's right click this and create mod and call it fur armor set ordinator patch and select OK. And tick the checkbox to activate. And let's drag it right below the other fur armor set SE ordinator patch, the one that we had to change. And let's just remove this other one. And number this one, the new 258. 258. Okay, now we're going to hover over this armors merged. And we're just going to go ahead and deselect all of the ESPs that are merged into this. So Apophysis, uh, Perfect Legionnaire, there's a lot you're gonna have to take, take note of these. It should be fairly easy considering though that we kept these all kind of in the order that we merged. So Apophysis, we don't need. We're gonna double click that, go to optional ESPs, move the ESP to optional. Perfect Legionnaire Troops Reequipment. 
we don't need. So we're gonna double click that. Optional ESPs, perfect legionnaire troops for equipment move to optional. Dragonbone Ebb and Steel, is that one in there? Did we merge that one? Yeah, Dragonbone Ebb and Steel is one. Double click. Optional ESPs, move Dragonbone Ebb and Steel into optional and close. Now Bosmer Elder Shadow Armor was one of the ones that had errors, so we did not merge that, so we're not gonna detick that, we're gonna leave that. And actually, we probably shouldn't even leave it installed if it had errors, but I think those are pretty common errors that we saw. I need to do some Googling on those. Tribunal robes for SSE, we did manage to merge. Didn't have any errors or anything. So let's double click that. Go to optional ESPs, move tribunal robes for SSE to optional and close. Now, dragon carved armor set is another one that we successfully merged. Let's go to optional, move dragon carved armor set dot ESP to optional ESPs and close. The Bosmer armor Matty 743 is one that we did manage to successfully merge. Go to optional ESPs, move that to optional ESPs and close. First set by Kyung, we actually managed to merge successfully. So go into optional ESPs, move first set by Kyung dot ESP to the optionals and close. Now, of course, we're gonna wanna leave the our new first set ordinator patch ursine armor non hdt double click grandmaster ursine armor special edition optional esps move ursine armor non hdt dot esp to optional and close talos house carl double click optional esps move talos house carl to optional esps and close Armor of Intrigue, we also successfully managed to merge. So optional ESPs move Armor of Intrigue to optional and close. Nordic Ranger outfit, we managed to merge. Move the ESP to optional and close. Warmonger Armory, optional. Move all of these ESPs to optional as I'm pretty sure all of those ESPs we're successfully merged. Let's just double check. Yes, that looks right. SPOA Silver Knight Armor. Was that successfully merged? Hover over the merged. I think it was. Yes, that seems to be good. There's also an SPOA uh, Silver Knight Shield that I think I might want to get. That's pretty freaking cool. Oh, optional ESP. Move SPOA Silver Knight to optional and close. E Mage's Helmets Pack. Where, 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 where is that? There is it here? Okay. E helmets, whatever, whatever, move that to optional. Let me just make sure actually that that one merged successfully. Yes. Okay. Now simple Halberk and double click that one. Go to optional ESPs and move it to optional and close. Dream Burrows Regal Huntsman. Did that one merge successfully? Yes, it did. Optional ESPs, move that ESP to optional and close. All right, we did it, guys. We did it. Now we want to go ahead and reselect these ones that I had deselected the two Hoth Troopers, the Volcahar Knight, the Black Mage, the Volcahar Knight, Better Vampires patch. Although, actually, leave that detect dechecked because we do not yet have Better Vampires installed. This one that requires the AMB content patch, I'm going to also leave deselected. And Opulent Outfits AIO that requires consistent older people i mean i guess we could get that mod i have, i do actually know what that is i've heard about it i've read about it i know what it does i've even had it installed before um so i mean we could install that it's something that i had considered installing anyways but i just think it's weird that it requires something that i don't think was mentioned at all and i don't think there was anything about that in the installer i i don't uh i know it's kind of weird it's kind of weird to me but uh so maybe uh, Ooh, excuse me getting tired so maybe we shouldn't install that i don't know anyways um i am trying to figure out if i should keep this video going and move on to weapons now or do this in another video i really want to get this series finished though but it seems like i might have just given you guys a bit of overload for one video and plus we kind of need to jump in there and test all these armors out and make sure that they're all still in and working and all of that so um Hmm. 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 Are we going to even remember what all to call up? How are we going to remember all this? So we need to try to call up the Apophysis masks, the Perfect Legionnaire, which actually we'll just, we'll, we will see that stuff on um, Imperial Troops. Uh, let's see. The Dragonbone Edmund Steel, Tribunal Robes, and la 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 la. Okay. Should we sort with loot, jump in there and try to call some of this up and make sure it's there? Oh, I got rid of Nat. Okay, so I had natural and atmospheric Tamriel installed momentarily while I was testing some of this stuff so that I could enable these patches, but 
in the, the and that was in my off screen time but on screen in the series we haven't gotten around to install uh, installing um weather mod and emb's yet so i need to detick those because that was my own little thing i had going on there so you guys will leave those leave those unchecked okay let's go ahead and sort with loot all right after you have sorted with loot once again just make absolutely sure that dark water crossing where are you dark water crossing comes below verdant landscape patches merged now you guys might think it's a pain to have to do that manually now but you can lock this in your load order and it's just not a good idea to lock while we're still installing mods because it'll change um but uh but uh we're going to we're going to lock that eventually but for now you'll have to manually move it so let's jump in there and fingers crossed so so hard that we can get all of these armors working and that nothing is invisible um let me double check something real quick these more ultimate do we have any of these installed now okay no we don't because these are mostly weapons and artifacts so we will actually be getting to all of that next though so a lot of these more loot ultimate patches we can finally install at which point we can merge a bunch of like we can merge all of these audio overhaul skyrim oh we've got the book of silence installed now we can tick that off wait don't we oh this requires a medium born skyforge weapons with the which the author of the septum modding guide specifically says to leave um deselected in your load order Hmm, because it can cause a crash to desktop. So we might just have to have no choice but to leave that patch unselected for the entirety. And we don't have unique uniques or Zim's immersive artifacts installed yet. Once we do, and we get all of the more loot ultimate patches installed, and we can merge all of the audio overhaul Skyrim and all of the more loot ultimate patches. And that will take a huge chunk out of our load order. We could um probably merge these ethereal elven overhaul ones um and then actually probably beyond that when we finally run our bashed patch eventually um ribash will actually um merge some things that are mergeable uh and lighten our load order even further so that'll be awesome all right i am going off on a tangent here so let's go in there and test out our game and hope we didn't break something it looks like the armor replacers are in and yes. nice and beautiful and fancy. Thank you, Amidian Born. And you can see my fur armor is changed and looking better. So that's good. That's all a good sign. Kind of look at some of the new textures from Amidian Born. It looks like it's in and that's great. Now, a lot of the NPC clothing won't be changed yet because we've, we've still yet to install the replacer for that. But this would be a good time to check out a bunch of armors, which there are really no armors on people here. We can call some up in the console, but it'd probably be good to go to White Run or, White Run or somewhere with some guards and and uh, see if the armors there have changed. But for now, let's go in here, and I'm probably not going to be able to remember half of these. But let's try um player dot add item zero 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 six one. C B nine one Croesus added Croesus And we've definitely got a problem with the dragon priest mask. <laughs> That's unfortunate. This is why we check though. That doesn't make any sense really though. It's showing up just fine in here. All right, well, that might be one that we might not be able to successfully merge then, guys. It's not a hard thing to undo, um, and I'm really glad we checked. Again, very glad. But that makes me wonder about other things, so let's get in here. Help. 4202-1FE61. Dragon scale ebon steel. Okay, that one seems to be working just fine. Let's try. 4100394A1. 
Tribunal red light Kyrus added. And that one is showing up fine. That's good. That's a good sign. Folkahar Knight Royal Guard Curus. Although I don't think this one was merged, so it's probably not really necessary. But let's look at it anyways and just make sure it works. Oh yeah, that's pretty sweet. All right, let's check Earth sign. Four one zero zero F F F two one. Earth sign Light Curus. Ah, oh, man, some problem with this merge as well. It looks like we're just missing a texture on this one, which is unfortunate. Since we extracted the BSAs, we shouldn't be having that problem. We might have to go through and just make sure all of the meshes and textures folders, we might have to move them manually to our new merged mod. Oh my goodness, man, merging plugins has become a little bit difficult, it would seem, in the new special edition with Mod Organizer. Um, I'll have to check with the author of the merge plugin standalone and see if um, some of those issues have been addressed. Although, like I said, I used it recently and had some of these same problems, so maybe he'll be coming out with a new version soon. At any rate, so we need to... Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing amazing okay no worries guys we're gonna fix this um it's definitely a good thing we're checking this let's try the um 410012d4 space oops space one house carl curious added let's check it out where is it hey this one seems to be working just fine Oh, that's a cool, that's, that's some cool armor too. Let's try the um, uh, 41011B4D space one. First set, Poncho, Sabercat Leopard. Oh yeah. Oh man, this one's, <laughs> it's hilarious. It looks like he's, He's, uh, he's, this is like, looks like whipped cream. Like he's just got a pile of whipped cream on him. That's awesome. All right, guys, we have, we have some things to fix, don't we? Don't we now? Don't we? Don't we now? Let me go ahead and save this in a new slot right here, just so I don't have to wait for all the mods to load up again. And let's just really, let's just do, let's just do, do some quick work. Some quick, quick work. All right, so we're gonna go to our armors merged and I'm gonna right click and open this in Explorer. I don't know, I guess it just, I guess you just have to do things pretty manually now to get things to work, which is fine by me. I don't mind, I'll put in the extra work to get things to work. I want this, I want this gameplay and this mod list to be pristine. I want everything to work. I want all problems sorted, or at least, you know, I'll, I'll settle for like a few things here and there that are like minor issues that, you know, there are going to be things that we're just probably going to have to deal with, but I want to deal with as much of it as we can. So the Apophysis Dragon Priest masks, let's start there because that is first on the list, open and explore, but let's just double check by extracting these BSAs manually ourselves using Bay and extract them to the 272 armors merged. Where are you? Okay, we're gonna extract it right there. And now we're gonna extract the textures to the same place. Okay, perfect legionnaire imperial armor reforged. Uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to open this and explore. And what is this optional? Oh, it's the ESP we moved there, right? Let's just copy the meshes and textures. I don't even know if that one was missing, but screw it. We might as well just copy them in there just in case. Better safe than sorry, folks. Let's go to Dragonbone Ebon Steel and do this. Go ahead and extract the Dragonbone Ebon Steel stuff just to be safe. I'm going to extract this to 272 armors merged. 
and the textures BSA. Now I'm going to do the dragon carved armor set and I'm just going to go in here and extract the BSAs as usual. Armors merged. I didn't check this one. This one actually might be all right. Bosmer armor pack open in explorer. Armors merged open in explorer. This is another one I didn't try so it might have been just fine but just to be safe I'm going to copy these into 272 armors merged. Now I'm going to open up first set by curing and drag these BSAs into bay to extract into 272 armors merged. Now I'm going to extract the textures BSA into 272 armors merged. All right, now we got the Grandmaster Ursine armor open in Explorer, and let's go ahead and drag these BSAs and extract them into the armors merged folder. And I'm going to go with textures now and extract that one as well. Now I'm going to open up the Talos House Carl armor pack. This one doesn't have any uh, BSA, it looks like it's now. I actually tried that one and it was fine though, huh? Interesting, well I will just copy this and paste it in there anyways, just in case, just to be safe. All right, moving on to Armor of Intrigue. Let's open an Explorer. Meshes, textures, copy, paste. Going all manual now, people. Nordic Ranger Armor. Let's open that in Explorer. And this one's meshes and textures, loose files, no BSAs. We're gonna just move it over, just paste it in. We're gonna close Nordic Ranger. Now the Warmonger Armory meshes, textures. Whoops, we don't want the meta file. Copy, paste. Now let's close Warmonger. SPOA Silver Knight, open an Explorer. This one's got a BSA, let's drag it into Bay. Extract it into Armors Merged. All right, now the Early Middle Ages Helmets, open an Explorer. This one's just loose files, meshes, and textures. So I'm gonna copy these and paste. Let's open this in Explorer now. Move the textures and meshes. Now let's open Regal Huntsman in Explorer and move the meshes and textures even though we probably don't need to because they're already in the game. I mean, this mod's still left installed. It's just the ESP that's been moved to optional. There's no reason I should have to do this, but I just... Just want to be extra safe. I guess I'm really don't know why these aren't showing up. All right, I think that's it. That's all of the MERS mods. Now, if we detick this and reactivate, it should overwrite a bunch of stuff now, I would think. All those meshes and textures. Yeah. So, yeah, it's conflicting with all this stuff. Ah, don't worry. It's only conflicting with 1,663 files. <laughs> Oh boy. Well guys, I probably didn't need to add all of the meshes and textures folders to the merged armors mod, but um at least now they're all in there and I could I guess I could deactivate all the other ones. I just I just don't know exactly where the problem lies, so I'm trying to just cover all my bases and be extra cautious, I guess. It was probably unnecessary. We'll see if this works. And if it works, it works. And look at that, we've got some fur. So we did something right. That is, that is a ridiculous bit of fur though. And there's some clipping with the armor I have on underneath it. Let me, uh, you just get rid of this real quick here. <laughs> just got no pants. I'm just wearing this giant leopard fur wrap. <laughs> what are you looking at, woman? Haven't you ever seen a, a man naked from the waist down wearing a giant leopard print fur shawl? <laughs> okay. 
I need some pants on. Oh, oh, the mask, the mask is fixed. That's so weird though that the BSA extraction didn't work. Oh wait, it still made my head disappear. Okay, guys, that, apparently it's not fixed. That really doesn't make any sense though, guys, because it's a, I mean, it's right here. It just doesn't, if I drop it, can I see it? Huh, so why, why would it be making my head disappear? Maybe it's something to do with the hoods. Well, at any rate, it looks like we are not going to be able to merge the, um, the Apothesis masks. We're going to have to, uh, probably leave those separate. But, I, I, you know, as long as everything else works, um, I'll be a pretty, pretty happy camper. And then I can just leave the Apothesis masks separate and leave them out of the merge. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's fine with me. Um... So yeah, we'll, we'll fix that. Uh, let's see. In the next episode, because it's like 3 a.m. here now, guys. And I thought I was going to be able to get all of this and all of the weapons done in that one episode. But it would be such a long episode. Are you guys, are you guys down for like essentially a three-hour movie? That is the most tedious and boring movie you've ever... No, I mean, you guys are following instructions and, you know, following along. So at least you guys are busy while this is happening, I, I, would, I would guess. But, um... Let's, we should probably just check a few more of these and make sure, let's see, what else wasn't working. Um, the Armor of Intrigue, wasn't that one that wasn't working? Okay, it's not there. What, what is it actually called? Um, I can't remember what any of this stuff was called now. I think it's because my brain is too tired, guys, from doing this too long and from it being so late. So, I think, I think we'll probably call it a night here. I guess I could check some of the first set stuff. Some more of it. There's actually, um, someone has, has put out, uh, a little patch for this that makes the colors more muted. And this leopard print is pretty, it's, uh, it's pretty, man, it's busy and loud. Um, but it's kind of cool though. Let's just try the, um, snow bear fur coat f1011 bd0 space one first set coat snow bear added let's grab that oh yeah <laughs> that's so cool what is up with the weird lighting on my abs though oh that's so neat looking though the fur actually looks really cool it's so fuzzy. It looks so soft and warm. All right. Um. Oh my God. This is such a huge coat. It's ridiculous. Does it? Does it really need to be that big? What the hell? Why is it so swollen looking? <laughs> what the hell, dude? It's like a guy trying to sneak a fuck ton of candy into the movie theater so he doesn't have to pay the concession stand prices. <laughs> Oh, this is like the this is like the kind of coat you would wear to steal a bunch of shit from the from the store, or like to sell a bunch of uh, knockoff Rolex watches, or or to go around flashing people uh, at a busy shopping mall. Um, all right, I guess I guess we're good. I have to call it a night, guys. I'm so exhausted. Um, um, you know. With this many mods, probably what's going to happen is I will get things pretty fixed to where the only problems remaining are pretty silly little things like, oh, the blood textures look weird on certain spots, or, oh, there are like still two children remaining with the black face bug, you know, or, you know, just, but like fix everything big and that's actually problematic, make sure there are no crashes. And then probably the rest of this series will just be like, as I figure out the fixes. So there might just be like one little video, like a week after the series ends where I'm like, Hey, I fixed the, the fucking blood thing. Here's a new video. And I'll just continue to polish and patch as I figure things out and probably carry on the series for like weeks after it's like technically over. 
well, as I polish up and fix tiny little things here and there and when I figure out how to do so then I'll update, update you guys on how to do so in your own games and so in that sense the series might carry on for a while well into my modded to hell playthrough my new one um, because after all that'll be one of the best ways to find problems and find solutions is playing through it and tinkering with it so so a lot of the polish stuff like hey why are my blood textures weird what, what where do i how do i need to sort things in my load order to get to fix that issue like things like that i would imagine you, you know might be like later on down the line right now i just kind of want to get everything installed for you guys and make sure you're not having crashes and then I'll update with like just short little snippet videos when I figure out a fix for little things that are really kind of just trivial, you know. Um, so that's that's kind of my plan right now as it stands. So I am going to fix the Dragon Priest mask issue and come back to you guys in the next video with how to do that. Oh, I get tired. You gotta go to sleep, guys. But uh, yeah, so I'll do that, and then I will update you guys in the next video, and we can get those those damn masks working, and then move on to weapons. And you know, I know this this is kind of this is kind of a pain. This is tedious. Some of this is unexpected. I thought a lot of this would work, and it, you know, better. But the important thing is, we are gonna get it to work. I'm not just gonna be like, oh yeah, shit's messed up. Uh, I don't know, guy. I don't know what to tell you guys. Well, well you know good luck best of luck no we're gonna fix every little bit of this it's just gonna take some time and you guys are just gonna have to bear with me please and just um basically follow along and do what i say and i will I won't let you guys down i will make sure your game is running as good as it can be or as good as i know how to get it to be and i'll do the same for my game as well i'll be doing the same for my game so might as well instruct you guys on how to do so as well when as i find the fixes myself so, all right, guys, that's it for me for now, and I will see you in the next video when we fix those damn masks and then move on to weapons. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hey, you know, this has been a ton of work, way more than I expected it to be when I set out to do this. I mean, I knew it would be uh, a very arduous experience trying to make this tutorial series for you guys. So many things went wrong, went wrong that didn't go wrong for me the last time I installed all these mods, and... Um, so much of it is way more tedious than I had kind of expected it to be, especially with wanting to, the series to be very in depth for you guys so that you guys don't have a bunch of problems. And I wanted to be, uh, to be perfectly honest, I wanted to already be back into making the, um, new modded to hell series and the Skyrim mod reviews, Skyrim tastic mods travaganza videos again. Um, but instead I find myself up working, you know, in uh, late into like till like five in the morning at night on these videos, like every single night, um, to try to get this to work uh, and, and, and trying fixes and researching and reading and trying to get everything sorted in the right way for you guys. And it's, um, it's been, um, a pretty arduous experience for me i enjoy it and i really have wanted to do this for a long time i've been wanting to do this for you guys for a long long time um for probably for years actually uh although you know lots of the things and lots of the skyrim modding scene has changed since then and there are a lot of new things but i've been wanting to do this for you guys for a long time so don't take me wrong that i didn't want to do this but or that i don't want to be i'm trying to hurry up and get it done so i can move on to the mod reviews and the modded to hell videos um, and the thing is, it's just, it's taken me a lot longer than I thought, and it's a lot more work than I thought. I'm putting in a lot of hours into these. So, guys, if you could help me out in any way, whether that's just watching my videos, giving me a like, um, you know, leaving a comment, uh, remember and just subscribe if you're not a subscriber, um, or if you really want to help out, you can go to my Patreon and uh, become a patron there that helps me a ton guys and i really appreciate anything you can do in any way that you can support me whatever that might be even if it's just watching my videos leaving a like uh whatever i really appreciate it guys and um i hope that uh, you know that i appreciate you guys and um i hope that you appreciate me as well doing doing this for you guys so you can finally have the modded to hell experience and and i hope you also know that i'm trying really working really hard to to do it right for you guys and to get every little detail right so that um you guys will have a really nice experience um and i'm 
I'm working hard and will continue to work hard to make sure that happens, fixing any little thing that I can as we go um, and being very meticulous with instructing you guys on how to do so as well so that you have a nice experience with your own games. Uh, I'm working pretty damn hard to do that. So, um, so any support you guys can give me, even if it's just watching the videos, giving them a like, I uh, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me, um, and taking the time to watch these videos and, uh, get our games looking good and playing good and get all that awesome new content and have a really awesome modded to hell experience when we're done with this series. So, Thanks for sticking with me, guys, and for any support, and for all of my supporters that are already supporting me and helping me out, all my patrons. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.